Hello and welcome to another video. This is a book that came a couple of days ago. Acrylics for the Absolute Beginner by Charles Evans. Well, I'm not an absolute beginner, but I think this... Um, sorry, there's a, there's a load of stuff sliding behind me. Um, I'm not an absolute beginner, but this will help me to improve. It's got things about um, skies and trees in it, so... That should help. I'm not very good at skies and trees. That's a bit that I'm um, struggling with. So, that's the sort of things I'd love to do, but I just haven't been able to get it right. My paintings just look awful, but uh, hopefully, this will help me to improve. Look at that. Hmm. One day, Sharon. Anyway, we've got the contents page. Okay, so we've got the introduction, and we've got the materials, and it's got the colours, basic set of colours that you need. Uh, um, you know how much paint I've got, it's coming out of my ears, but these are the basic ones that you should have, and some of them I haven't even got. I've got loads of paint, but some of these colours I haven't got. Um, so we've got <clears throat> Payne's Grey. I've got plenty of watercolour paints grey, but no acrylic paints grey. I don't know why that is. The watercolour, it's the same brand, <coughs> but the acrylic sets don't have the paints grey. Whereas water set, watercolour sets do, I don't know why that is. Anyway, next one is oh, Permanent Al Al Alizarian Crimson. I don't have that. I think I've got a crimson, but it's not oh, it's whatever that says. How is there crimson? Burnt, burnt sienna. I've got some burnt sienna. Cobalt blue. I've got that coming today. Um. Then we have Naples yellow. <coughs> I haven't got any of that. I've got lemon yellow. I've got. I can't remember what the other one was called. But I've got mid yellow, and something else. I've got yellow ochre. Anyway, I haven't got paper yet. Raw sienna, that's a staple. <laughs> got some of that. Titanium white, yes, I've got that. Um, Ocker's green. I think I used to have some of that, unless it was the watercolour again and not the acrylic. I haven't, I don't remember seeing any Hooker's green in the acrylic. So I'm going to have to put Hooker's green on my shopping list. And then burnt umber, I've got, oh, not raw umber, I've got some of that raw umber. I've got. The focus green and raw umber. Does it say burnt umber somewhere around here? I've got, I've got the um, they've got the no, burnt sienna. No, I've got uh, it's got raw umber. I've got some burnt umber and raw umber. I think anyway, brushes. I've got plenty of brushes. <laughs> now this is painting surfaces. Yes. <clears throat> Other materials. Doesn't doesn't mention palette knives here. I think, I think it's using the plastic card instead of like like a like a palette knife kind of thing. I've got um, some old some old cards like this. Um, my, my old um, NHS exception certificate <laughs> could um, could um, come in handy for that kind of thing. And that's there. <sighs> so. Painting successful pictures. That is the outline. 
for that painting. This is about cropping photos so that you don't have lots of unnecessary bits. Simplifying. That photograph looks a bit dark and crowded, but the painting that came from it, yeah, that's what you try and do. You try and lighten it up and make it look more appealing. Ah, oh, here we are, painting trees. There's more trees later on as well. Simple skies and trees. <sighs> It's the cl I can do I can do a I can do a sunny day with the blue sky, but it's the clouds that I have trouble with. So I need to know how to do clouds. So this book is going to be useful for that. It's got bits that are talking about clouds and that. Are you using a stay wet palette? I I use a. The, tip, the peel off sheets. I have got a tray that I'm using that I use as a direct palette if I need to, but I would be using the peel off sheets like we did at art class. Mixing colours that can be useful because <laughs> I don't know how I'm mixing colours. <sighs> I don't I mix the wrong colour. I need to know what colours mix when. Um, I think this probably tells me. Mm, this is going to be very helpful, this book. Here's another simple... Tr oh! My trees. When I try to do trees, they look like... Um, I don't know what they look like. They look thicker than they should do, that's, that's why. Because I'm probably using a too big a brush, I'm putting too much pressure on I don't know, I'm going to have to practice. Practice makes perfect. Look at that tree! Oh, there's more trees. Oh, yes, I think this is going to be very good for helping me do trees. Figures. Oh, there you go. The carrot, like um, Frank Clark did. Um, cow. Painting in the woods. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, it's, it's got lots of stuff in it about painting in different styles and that in different. Pardon me. <laughs> and it's got some outlines included. Um, come the other way now. Oh, yeah. This one must be this way. Um, <clears throat> I guess this is the middle bit. Here. That's, uh, so, and then they've got. Um, Woodland. It's going to be use very useful for doing my pictures. Oh, this is so good, this book. I've always wanted to know how to paint rocks. I could never get them to look right. Oh. Okay. Look at that. That's, that's what for a painting from one of the um, outlines that I just showed you. Anyway, I'm running out of time. Um, so, that's a brilliant book. 
so that's the end of this video then if you enjoyed it give it a like and subscribe and i'll see you later bye